today I'm going to be showing you some really cool tutorial that I was able to figure out and get working. But first, if you are here for the first time, please consider subscribing. Uh, leave a like if you like the video. Leave a comment if you have any other questions or any other things that you need troubleshoot troubleshooting on. Yeah, that's right. And um, the things that you'll need for this are TV, doesn't matter what brand, preferably not a super old TV, sound bar that has um, ARC support, also the TV needs to have ARC support for one of the HDMI's. You can just look on the back of the TV or you can, um, well the back of the TV will probably say ARC next to it, like it'll say HDMI and then ARC. The sound bar will either say on the box or maybe yours will have it written on there, mine didn't have it on the like actual sound bar. But um, then you'll need to have an Xbox. And you'll also need two HDMI cables, one for the Xbox for the TV and another one for the sound bar to the TV. And that's all you're really gonna need. Um, this will also help you to be able to have the volume on your TV and the volume on your sound bar to be synced. So it will be like your volume on your TV is at 100 and your soundbar is at 1. And when you change the volume, the TV keeps trying to go up. And the soundbars are going up and they're never at the same level. So they're just, I, don't know, I would say, out of sync. And then you'll be able to be playing your Xbox or whatever else is plugged in. And you'll be having the sound come through your soundbar instead of the TV speaker. So let's get over to my TV. I'm just going to show you where the connections are, uh, what you have to make, and then I can just show you that it works, I guess. So, let's get to it. So this is my setup. I got my Sony Bravia TV. Then I have my LG soundbar there, along with the Xbox at the bottom. So, let's get behind this, and I'll start off by showing you the TV connection. Then we'll move down to the soundbar, and then lastly the Xbox, and then I'll turn it on and show you that it works. So first things first, I found my ARC supported HDMI port, and I'm just going to use this one here just because it's right next to it. So I ran two HDMI cables that I got here, just through my um, entertainment system, just so I can have all the cords all wound up and everything. And then first, I am going to plug in this one down into the... ARC, this is the one that's going to be going to the soundbar, and then here's the Xbox one that'll plug in right there. So, once you got those plugged in, then now you can go down to the soundbar and the Xbox. This is pretty easy, so I'll just get right down there. Okay, now we're by the soundbar, and as you can see, there's these two HDMI ports. You can, I tried running the HDMI through the soundbar to get it to work on the TV, but I was just having lots of problems. So find the one that says HDMI TV out. Mine does actually say ARC on it, and that's the port that you're gonna to wanna to plug it into. So just plug in the HDMI cable from the other ARC port on your TV, and then you can just flip your soundbar over, and we'll be ready to go with that. Next is the final and easiest step. Just find HDMI out to TV, plug in the HDMI cable that we were going to be running to your Xbox. Put your Xbox down and it should be all ready to go now. And this will make it so that your soundbar automatically turns on if it has that support through the HDMI and then your Xbox you'll have to turn on with the controller. So the first thing we'll want to do is get the TV turned on, turn on the soundbar manually, then go over to your settings, and mine is in setup for the Sony, then I go to probably a sync settings with that, device auto power on, okay, TV auto power on, okay. I'm just going to change that up, and there you can see my loading bar popped up, hit enable. Now turn it off. 
soundbar turned off. There you go. Now the soundbar turns on. There you go. As you see, everything works. Sounds come through the soundbar. So there we go. Got it. You guys all set up. And also, I'll be leaving some links in the description down there to HDMI cables, the Xbox, the soundbar, the TV, just everything that I have in my setup so that if you want some of those items, you can buy them down there. Also, buying from those links helps out my channel, helps me to get some money so that I can hopefully start saving up for a new camera instead of using my iPhone 7 Plus. So, thank you, and again, please don't forget to subscribe right there.